Waking up feeling like it's gonna rain. Holy shit. <laughs> this one is insane. It's sunny out, but it just comes in waves. Excuse how I look right now. Obviously, very wind blown. But we just picked up our camper van. If you're following along from my last video, we're about to go on a road trip around Tasmania. We've been in like Hobart, the Port Arthur area um, for the last five nights. And now we're about to go on a road trip in a camper van for six nights. Um, so yeah, we just picked up our van. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. The weather has also dropped so much. It is currently like 10 degrees. Taz is experiencing a cold snap. Perfect timing for us to be sleeping in a van, I know. So this is her, it's just like a standard camper van. Don't mind the toilet paper. Um, but that wall comes down and then our bed is there. And then we've got a little kitchen, a fridge, a microwave. We've got like a gas cooking stove up there. And then there's even more space up there. Road trip, let's go! <laughs> We ended up getting in super late last night and we just parked at a little family RV site. They had a really nice clean bathroom there, which was great. Didn't have to go to the toilet this morning in a drop toilet. Lastly, we're going to go and look for coffee and then we're headed to the beach to have a look at it. It's not very nice weather, honestly, but it could be cool. Um, and then I think there's a nice walk that we want to try and do. We're honestly not too sure. We're just going to like see what's around. But yeah, we'll figure that out over coffee. And then we're headed to Stanley, which is about a three, three and a half hour drive. So yeah. Hey boy with the pretty face. I like to ask how you do it today. I like your style and I like your taste. I think maybe it would go together great. We didn't know about this spot last night because we got in so late. But I'm gonna write it in my vlog because if you come to Stran, definitely like park here, it's free and it's the prettiest place to wake up to. spot to park the van for the night and look at the view. <laughs> we just had a shower and we're all nice and clean now. I feel so much better just from like cleaning my teeth and showering. I showered yesterday but I was feeling pretty gross. <laughs> See one day. I know. Um, we're just walking to town now to suss out some dinner options because we haven't really eaten probably all day but yeah we're not sure what's around slight change of plans the only restaurant in town was super expensive and the food just looked really average so we just went to the supermarket i bought this like asian salad and i've added black beans into it alex is asian having salad with black beans. <laughs> tastes good though I can't talk. and alex is having freaking easy I'm, I'm math thinking looks great <laughs> and then I saved him some salad we've got peppermint tea Morning, Lola. <laughs> are you on your way to school the yeah I'm coming back slowly so slowly <laughs> you ask oh yes <laughs> Another almond cappuccino. 
here at a little cafe called Leather and Wood. And we also just got a pumpkin veggie toasty to share. It's so hard to get into this van, but we're about to drive to Cradle Mountain. Before we do, though, we're checking out the Stanley Nut. Um, it's this big rock here, and it's meant to have a really pretty view on top of it. Um, and then we have a three and a half hour drive to Cradle Mountain. So We made it to Cradle Mountain probably about four hours ago. The weather is so miserable. I think it's like two degrees or something ridiculous here. It's honestly freezing. So we arrived at Cradle Mountain at like around three o'clock this afternoon and it was just like the most miserable weather. It was actually a bit of a tricky drive for Al. It was super windy and just stormy. Um, so when we got here, we went to one of the lodges close by and we had um, lunch there or like a late lunch. We had pizza and stuff. And we had planned to do a hike at sunset to Hanson's Peak. So yeah, we've just been sitting in the van or laying on the bed under three donors. Um, editing, I've been editing a video and Al's been editing photos. Um, oh yeah, we also ended up parking the van at the Discovery Park. I'm going to do a blog post with all of the details about where we park and like the places that we go and things. But the reason for me starting this clip was I'm about to make some dinner. We actually pre-prepared some pasta this morning when we left Stanley because we weren't sure if we would have access to cooking facilities and things tonight, which I'm actually really glad we did because we do not want to leave this van. It's freezing outside. Um, so yeah, it's honestly the most basic pasta ever. It's spinach fettuccine and a tomato sauce that we got from the kiosk. And we just cut up an onion and cooked that with it as well. Also, how good is this? Our van literally came fully equipped. So we have like bowls, cups and everything. And yeah, there are pots and pans in this one. And then like cleaning things in here. <laughs> She's not cute, but she tastes good. Tonight's dinner. <laughs> raining this morning, no. Where we had coffee this morning, we've actually been told that due to this weather, they're not letting people onto the mountain, which really sucks, but I'm also glad that there's like that confirmation because we didn't want to do it because of the weather, but also we were like, we've come all this way, we should do it. But now that they're like, you actually can't, we don't feel as bad. think that this was the same day as we woke up to this morning. We decided to stop through Launceston because to make up for the fact that we couldn't do the Cradle Mountain and Dove Lake Walk. Um, but yeah, I literally just got changed in the back of the van quickly into something a little bit more city because I was wearing activewear. I think of you. Yum. I got the lamb savlaki bowl and Al got the chili bean bowl. We have an Airbnb for tonight and we have just arrived. I'm like so amazed at the location. I have to show you guys. This is our room for the night. Super cute. Look at the freaking view. This is our deck. We're bringing our dinner across the road and I made myself a ginger honey lemon tea because it's my fave. Now you're far up.
Good morning guys. It is I think day five or six of our road trip. I've honestly lost track but we only have a few more days left which is really sad. Today we are headed to Wineglass Bay and Freshient National Park. We're actually staying in Freshient tonight at the most insane Airbnb. I'm so excited to get there. But before we do that, like I said, we've got the wine glass walk. It's actually crazy how different the weather on this side of Tassie is compared to the east side. This is my outfit. My tights are just from Bowen Tee. This little baby tee is just from General Pants. This jacket's from Glassons and my shoes are Adidas. I've actually been recommended a cafe that we're gonna go and have a look at quickly to get some brekkie and then we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> Al's loved this place because there's penguins. Oh my god. <laughs> what a day. To be honest, I don't really need to be fair. To be honest, I've been caught up in the deep end. And you want it, I've been rolling on a road, so kind of close though on the way home. We just got to Freyshire National Park and we're about to hike <laughs> and we're about to hike to Wineglass Bay. Let's go. On today's episode of Objects Lollies is to make a tripod. We have a toilet paper. <laughs> final Airbnb of our Tasmania trip and holy shit <laughs> this one is insane I can't wait to give you guys a tour views are honestly just like nothing I've experienced before no cane nature's brew of all kinds of things the mountains sunk hills sky colors so for dinner tonight we bought this risotto pack from a little grocery store in Stanley it's just like a mushroom, onion, and zucchini risotto. It looks tiny, but it says that it serves two to three people. So I'm just gonna go off the packet. But yeah, this is what we're making tonight. I'm just about to cut up an onion and then put everything in here. <laughs> Stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> well, should we let him in? Should we give him a little cuddle? <laughs> hey, buddy. He's so big. I'm making myself a honey lemon tea because that's been my fave at the moment. We also have these ginger tea bags when I left them in the van. I just do half a lemon and then about a teaspoon of honey. And then you do your hot water. Don't mind the unmade bed, but let's just take a minute for this bedroom. It was so special waking up here this morning. There was the most beautiful sunrise. This morning is our last morning here in Tassie, which is so sad. 
Also, my skin has decided to break out in these last few days. But yeah, also just because of the cold weather, I think I've literally been loving my skin in moisturizer because it is so dry. But then we'll go for like hikes and I'll sweat and my skin will get like a slimy because of the moisturizer. It's kind of a bit gross. But it just needs it because otherwise it just gets all cracky. I've actually begun packing everything away. But yeah, this morning has just been really chill. We've just been doing some work actually. I haven't, holy, it's so bright in here now. I haven't really worked at all this whole trip, which has been so nice. But I'm also so scared to go home and just like properly check my emails. I have a lot to do as soon as I get back. But yeah, we've just been sitting here all morning having tea. And I've started editing some things. Isn't that just the most satisfying thing ever when you get everything to perfectly fit? So yeah, I guess this is the end of our Tassie vlog, which is super sad. We are all packed up now and we're literally just about to drive to the airport drop the van off and get on a plane and go home. I actually had the best two weeks, or it was just under two weeks, 12 days. Um, so I'm super sad to be leaving, but also really excited to get home. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the other vlog too. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> say bye. Bye. He's so shy. <laughs> See ya.